We reviewed several pop-off leather wallets, and today we have their trifold wallet. It's just a big mound of leather goodness, so let's get into it. Pop-off uses a very simple packaging, which is great. I don't think there's any problem with that. We get into the wallet itself. Oh man, look at this. Look at this leather here, and look at all of that leather. Ooh, baby. This is hand sewn with reinforcement in most places. Let's take a look here. Welcome to Pop Off. Talks about leather care, which is always important to express to people. This is an English tan color. And let's take a look at some of the sewing here. If I recall, I picked up this wallet uh, when it was first being introduced, and it was a limited run. And so I'm sure there have been some minor improvements to it over time, but uh, it's still the same basic design. And we can see this is the hand sewn version, reinforced where it should in most places. I'd like to have seen it up here and here and here, but uh, otherwise, wow, what a great piece of leather. Now the feature review for the Pop-Off Leather Trifold Wallet. As is the case with most, tri most Trifold Wallets, uh, there are no features on the exterior. When we get into the interior, we begin to see what this wallet provides, of which we have one, two, three, four card slots, which can hold one to four cards each. We do have an ID slot over here on the right-hand side. As, the, as is the case with wallets uh, that I, I think are really thinking well, there is no plastic, there's no mesh, there's nothing here. Uh, mesh, of course, is better than plastic, but anything you put here will go bad before the wallet will actually go bad in most cases, especially if it's a high-quality leather. And if we go to the interior, we now have a billfold pocket, very generous. Trifolds are always very generous in that case because of the material, uh, which provides wonderful access and capacity for cash. And that is a quick review of the features of the Pop-Off Leather Trifold Wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. All right, you saw all currencies work. I kind of like this put them all together thing. I don't know why I haven't done that in the past. Anyway, uh, you'll see that, and you saw that that was, that was a one point, that is a, that is a one inch thick wallet we have here. Minimalist carry is six, reasonable carry is probably eight cards there. Company second recommends it can handle up to 10 plus cards. From a quality perspective, uh, this is designed and made in Canada. And the Pop-Off Leather folks have been doing great products like this for a long time, and they do not uh, have any excuse that they give. They actually reinforce the fact that it's thick cut leather. They like that. It's a heavy weight, and it is a full grain veg tan Horween Derby leather in this particular situation. And, oh my gosh, I can just do this all day long. Uh, this heavy leather really helps ensure longevity, and it really, really take the abuse of daily use. Pushing this to a five ounce, really on this external piece uh, right here, this piece right here uh, really just makes this amazing. And it is sewn by a tiger thread. It's a tan color. And if, if this, and the thread is a tan color. If it's tan, it means it's hand sewn. If it's cream, it means that it's machine, machine sewn, shown, sewn here. Sorry about that. It's customizable and you uh, really can choose what you want to be placed on here by way of that. There are really no shortcuts at all in this wallet. Uh, all the, the card slot pieces go all the way down. What does that mean, Mark? Well, that means that if you put your finger in here, this back piece goes all the way down. Sometimes you will have this rear piece that's cut short, and that helps reduce some bulk, and it's really there to guide the cards down, but uh, once you get beyond that point, then the cards actually begin to touch. Not the case here. This uh, leather back uh, leather piece here does go all the way down in addition to what you see here. That's the case all the way along. This is very thick in nature by way of the wallet because of all the pieces that are incorporated with this wallet in particular. Burnishing is very light, if at all in some places. It's, it's very light in the bottom here. And, I, and again, I like that the ID slot doesn't have plastic on this. It just never works well. Pricing is $99. And from a usability perspective, the, the fact that it's empty in the, in, in the space here with a billfold pocket really allows you to put in more cards and cash. If you're interested, let me show you. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, trifold wallets, 
um, you really have to know that trifold wallets can go in your front or rear pocket, traditionally in your rear, but look how this cash sits here. This cash, if you put it over properly here, you have a whole lot of room. Uh, you could put additional cards, you could put receipts in here. You know, that's why I can get up to 10 plus cards, even though they say one to two in each of these, at which point you're still folding a fairly thick wallet anyway, and you're probably gonna get used to it. This will conform and form to your body over time, and the patina will be fantastic and will not likely lose that wonderful smell. Design is, uh, I think, important here as well. So for example, when you open this card or this wallet up, you have cards here, not your ID. You're gonna pull your cards more often than your ID. Think about that because that's not always the case in designs. So when you wanna pay, one, one flap open, pull your card, put it back in. If you have to get your ID, you can, but it's not what you're going after most of the time. And it also protects your ID. Now it measures 4.1 by 3.5 by 0.8, and it weighs, wowzers, 123 grams. That's a lot of leather goodness there. Started in 2013 by Ryan and Jill Popoff, Ryan's drive to find the perfect wallet, which seems to drive many of the entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurs in the wallet business these days, it just pushed him further and further from just a hobby into a thriving business when he wanted to create that wallet. So Popoff Leather has an infectious feeling of family. Uh, they enjoy working together, doing their day-to-day -day work, and really keeping quality front and center with all they do. Their customer service is fantastic, and of course I'd recommend them. One item that I've mentioned many times is their wallet gauntlet card. It provides you with RFID protection by placing it in your wallet without feeling like you need to get a wallet with RFID in it. Don't do that, that's just not worth it. As you know, RFID really is kind of a scam. It's a marketing thing in my mind, but if you're really concerned, just get a card instead. It's down in the notes, don't buy a wallet with it. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of three, usability of four, and perception of five. That gives us a final score of 42 out of 50. Great score for a trifold. Hope you enjoy these videos. Look for these other ones that may be interesting to you. We hope to see you in the next review. Bye.